Hey survivors and thrivers, please like the video, share your thoughts in the comments, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and click the bell icon so you can receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to make a donation, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. We have a private Reddit community where survivors and thrivers can share their personal experiences and knowledge. If you are interested in joining the private Reddit community, you can sign up for our Patreon page. The link is in the video description. When the narcissist won't leave you alone. When you have left them and have chosen to move on with your life, this will cause a narcissistic injury. They cannot deal with rejection. When you make it clear that you want nothing to do with them, it damages their self-worth and self-esteem. They are already insecure and have an inferiority complex. That's why they will go out of their way to prove themselves to you. They are always trying to impress you or compete with you. Narcissists use you to regulate their self-worth and self-esteem and their emotions. The problem is our self-worth and self-esteem is not supposed to be regulated by external influences. So no matter how much they harass and stalk you, or try to prove themselves to you, it never sustains them. They always need more. Narcissists do not self-reflect or look within themselves. They do not self-validate. This is why they have to constantly chase you around and use you to validate them. They are emotionally immature and do not accept responsibility or accountability for anything that they do. So they cannot recognize what they are doing to you. They do not acknowledge the fact that they are in this predatory survival mode where they are harassing and stalking you, watching you and following you around everywhere. They will wait for you to leave your home or they will wait for you to come home. They will wait for you outside your workplace. They will even stalk your friends and family members, including your children. They are so focused on you, so they don't really acknowledge their dysfunctional behavior. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy, so it's all about what they can get out of you. As an empath, you are full of qualities talents and positive traits which they do not possess. You are full of potent positive energy which they cannot produce on their own. The energy that they have is very negative and makes them feel miserable and dissatisfied with their lives. Nothing gives them satisfaction or fulfillment. When you see or interact with them there is an exchange of energy or a, a transfer and they are absorbing your positive energy and you are absorbing their negative energy. That's why you can be smiling and really happy before you see them and they could be their usual miserable angry selves. But then after you see them or interact with them, they get this rush of excitement while you start feeling down. They're energy vampires. They feed off your energy. So you will see them doing some really strange and random behaviors. They rearrange their lives so that they can be at a certain place at a certain time where you might be. They might randomly walk out in front of you or make exaggerated movements. Your energy can be transferred to them even if none, none of your five senses pick up on them. 
we all have energy fields which expand far outside of our bodies. So just by being in our proximity, they can feed off our energy. This is why they are always trying to be around you. They are always forcing you to see them or listen to them talk. They will pretend to be on the phone to someone when they are around you or they will plan for someone to be near them when you are there so they can talk to them in front of you. This gives them an opportunity to feed off your energy. They can also make subtle indirect comments about you while pretending to talk on the phone or by talking to someone else in front of you. They will put on a show strategically choreographed or orchestrated to get your attention to get an emotional reaction from you. They are obsessed with emotions because it makes them feel alive and it allows them to feed off your energy. Do not acknowledge their presence. If you see them walking near you, just look the other way. If they start talking when they are around you, walk away or put earphones in. You need to protect your energy while you are around these people. They will specifically target you and then go into this predatory survival mode where they are doing anything and everything they can to feed off your energy. You will see them doing some really strange behaviours and it, it is all designed to take your energy or obtain an emotional reaction from you. If they get an emotional reaction from you just once, they will do it again and again. They develop an addiction to your emotional reactions. It stimulates and gratifies them. It's basically emotional rape. You possess this potent positive energy. It is yours. But because of their arrogance and entitlement, they will try whatever they can to take this from you. It's a transfer of energy. Your energy is replenishing them. So even though they may be deeply envious and jealous of you, they won't leave you alone because they so desperately crave this potent positive energy which you possess. You may wonder why they can't obtain this from someone else. Well, this energy is quite rare. Narcissists typically associate with other dysfunctional people like them and target usually one specific person who possesses this energy. They might discard you but they will never leave you alone completely. They will continue to come back and hoover you even though they are deeply envious and jealous of you. Your qualities, talents and positive traits trigger them to reflect on their faults mistakes, flaws and imperfections. It triggers them to reflect on their insecurities and their low self-worth and low self-esteem. This is why even though they stalk and hoover you, it may seem as though they are feeling some frustration or resentment towards you. They are frustrated because they cannot control you. They also have this arrogance where they expect you to just hand over your energy to them. They become resentful like a teenager might be resentful of their parents. They need you, but they will also be resentful because of the dependence they have on you. They realize that they are highly dependent on you like a drug. They're addicted. If this was not true, they wouldn't feel so compelled to stalk and hoover you. They wouldn't need you. But the fact that they are stalking and hoovering you should let you know that they do need you. They are struggling to live without you. They are highly dependent on your, po on your potent positive energy. It makes them feel alive and they cannot live without it. This is why they cannot leave you alone. Even if they have family members or friends, 
they are usually dysfunctional like the narcissist. They might have a new source of supply, but they will still stalk and hoover you because the energy you possess is more potent. The energy you possess is quite rare. As an empath, you have this innocence or naivety, that spark or childhood magic. It gives Narcissus a rush, it makes them feel alive. And it reminds them of a time when they once possessed this energy, when they were children, before they developed this, this disorder. Now they are trying to find it in someone else. They do not self reflect or look within, so they cannot work to develop this within themselves. It is also a very difficult thing to develop. I personally believe that it is one of those things where you either have it or you don't. We are conditioned to lose these qualities which really make life worth living. Contentment and curiosity. It's like the opposite of narcissism. But it is also something which narcissists crave in other people. And it's not so easy to find. So when they do find someone who possesses these qualities, they will stalk and hoover them. They will never forget them. Because when you possess these qualities, you have the ability to make them feel alive. Even if only for a short moment. And really, that's all these narcissists want. That's why they have all of these addictions like drugs, alcohol, shopping and gambling. They are chasing that rush, what makes them feel alive. And nothing can make them feel more alive than having some form of interaction or connection with an empath. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Talk soon.